they are, look. Tent testers required. Sign still in the window. We don't know anything about tent testing. Don't worry about it. We'll just insult one of the country's foremost authorities. Who's that? Me. Of course. That's a good idea. It is, isn't it? Yeah. I'll just pop in and chat up the management. You wait here. Right. Just. Trouble with you is you've got the wrong approach. Shall I go back and come again? No, not that kind of approach. Attitude. Oh. And talking of hats, take that silly thing off. Right. Come in. Just look around it. Where else could you get fresh air and things like this? And get paid for it at the same time? I don't know. I could go back and look it up. Uh, just a minute. Oh. Get paid for it. Did I say that? Yes. Silly me. Slip of the tongue. Of course, we're tent testing on a voluntary basis. I thought we used a ground sheet. No, look, we better check that we've got everything, because the last thing we need is to be out in the wilderness and find we haven't got a guy. Is it bonfire night? No, just set up the tents. Just pitch them. Pitch them? Yes. I thought you'd never ask. When I say pitch the tents, I don't mean pitch them, pitch them. No. I mean pitch them. Clear? As pitch. Look, get hold of these. I'll go and plan our journey. Right. I'll be over there, under that tree, looking for a route. <laughs> looking for a route. Ha, ha, ha. Well done. Certainly am. Good. We're ready for our great adventure. Exciting, isn't it? Yes. Hey, Paul, what? is it too late to turn back? Oh, yes, 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 yes. Oh, just wondered. Come on, pack the tents up and let's be off. I think I've got a spot. Do you want me to go home and fetch your plaster? No, I don't. I want you to follow me. We've got a long walk ahead of us. Walk? Can't we take a bus? If you like, if you think you can carry it. Let's walk. What's that? It's a compass. It's very nice. It's very nice. Did you get it from that pile you're always going on about in the garden? What pile? The compass heap behind the shed. That's compost. It isn't. It's just behind the greenhouse. How does it work, anyway? Oh, it's very accurate, this. Is what it? you do, you see, you look through this little... Um, you look through this little hole here, at the sun, mm -hmm. and you count the little digits on the edge. And that tells you where you are. Does it? It's very accurate. Hey. For instance, at this moment in time, we are in England. Oh, hey! Eh? <laughs> Can I have a go? Oh, no. This is a very precise piece of equipment. Oh. You've got to know what you're doing. Because if you don't know what you're doing, you don't know where you're going. And I know where I am at every moment in time. Paul? What now? Well, you could have told me, couldn't you?
beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. <sighs> so peaceful and quiet. What was it Shakespeare said? No, it wasn't that. Peace. Is that your tummy? I'm starving. Typically you. Always thinking your stomach. Come on, on the road. Taking a rest. We camp in not playing snooker. Go and pitch the tents over there. Over there? Yeah. Right. <laughs> Paul, you're having another one of those days, aren't you? This is the spot. We'll set up the tents here. Oh, good. Can we have some food now, though, because I'm starving? Hey, I better know what you fancy. What's that? A nice, juicy steak with chips, with ice cream and gatto to follow. Yeah, great! <laughs> Pity you can't get anything like that round here. Oh. I might be able to rustle up some grubs, though. Grubs? Yeah. Oh. Tell you what, you set up the tents while I have a forage. Oh, can you get me a bowl as well, please? Forage, not porridge. Oh, forage. And be quiet. Remember the sanctity of the countryside. Sorry. No, 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 no. This oh. won't do. What's up? You've missed the first rule of tenting. Have I? You never pitch your tent on the across slope. Hey. I mean, just look at this. Straight across the way. You always put it up and down the slope. Oh, up and down the slope. Yes. That way, you see, if it rains, the water runs past you down the hill. You're going to have to turn it round again. I don't know. Can't leave him for a minute to do anything on his own. Hey, Paul. What? Can you give us a hand? No, I need both mine. Anyway, I'm hot on the trail of an earthworm. You can have it for your lunch. Ooh. And keep quiet. Sorry. Oh, dear. I would have loved this. That's better. Hey, Barry, guess what I've got for you? What? Nothing. Not a very good day for hunting today, I'm afraid. Oh. Tell you what, could you get a fire going while I pop in the tent and do a bit of research? Right, right. What? Matches. What does? I haven't got any. Neither have I. Oh. What now? How am I going to light the fire? We'll rub two sticks together. I haven't got two sticks. We'll rub your legs together. <laughs> Forget it. Look, any sticks will do. Oh. And will you stop that silly noise? Sorry. Found some. Good. Oh, dear. This country air doesn't half make you tired. I think I'm about to slide off. Oh. 
Nice here, isn't it? Fine. It's fine. Only, you forgot these. Yeah. I see the thing to remember, when you're in the country, you must follow the country code. Which way did it go? You haven't got it, have you? It might be in my bag. Shall I have a look? Forget it. And watch the cow pat. My name's not Pat. Can you keep the noise down? Excuse me. This is the life, isn't it, eh? The grass, the trees, the wind in you. Acorns. Eh? I'm sitting on an acorn. Oh, that'll be squirrels. Well, he shouldn't leave them lying about. Could be very nasty. Squirrels. Oh, I thought you said Cyril's. Hey, do you know you can roast those, grind them, and make a kind of coffee out of them? Get away. Yeah, something like that. It's all here in my camping guidebook. Is it? Yeah, in here it tells you how to live off the land, how to find your own food, how to live off your wits. Or in your case, your half wits. Pardon? Granted. Yeah, in here it tells you where to find all sorts of food and where to find it in the most unlikely places. Oh. Under rocks, up trees, under bushes. Does it mention supermarkets? Uh, no, no, nothing about supermarkets. Well, what kind of a book is that? It tells you where to find food in the unlikely places, but not in the likely places. Who wrote it? I did. You did? It's a good job we brought some food with us then. I'm starving. Ah, <laughs> well, we didn't. We're going to use this. Oh. Get off. We're not going to eat it, aren't we? No, we're going to use it to show us how to catch food. Oh, right, right. Find some way to pitch the tents. Hey, hey, that looks a good spot over there. Oh. You follow me. I'll see you all right. Oh. Are you OK? Fine. Just lost my bearings. Shall I help you look for them? Just look at this. The perfect spot. Yeah. Right, now you go into your tent, I'll go into mine, and you leave me alone. Right. All I want now is a little peace and quiet. Right. It's nice here, isn't it, Paul? Ooh. Peaceful. Uh. So quiet. Will you shut up? Time we were moving on, I think. Not me there yet, Paul. I'll just check me back. Now, where'd I put it? Search me. Good idea. Ah, yes. Here we are. Now then. Ah, oh, yes, look. Here's a spot. No. It's a squashed fly. So it is. Ah, don't throw it away. We'll put that in the stew later. Ugh. Hey, Paul, can you really read maps? Of course I can. Shall I show you? Yeah. Right. These blue lines here, they're rivers. Really? Mm. I've never heard of the River M6 before. And the red lines, they're roads. What do the yellow lines mean? No parking. Oh. Now, think if we go this way, then we go that way, then we go that way. We'll be lost. Correct. We'll go this way. Right. I'm just going for some food. The word is forage. OK, I'm just going for some forage. I think I'll get a cake as well.
else has he got in here? He shouldn't have a bed in his tent. I'll have it in my tent. What? Have you seen my bed? No. Oh, well, if you see it, will you let me know? OK. Thanks. That's my bed. What bed? That bed. Oh, this bed. Oh, tell you what, I'll give you a hand back with it. Oh, thank All you right. very much. Tent's bust. Can I come in with you? I suppose so. Oh, thanks. But I must ask you not to slam the flap. OK. Paul? Yes? You know what? What? Well, when I was putting your tent up, your tent? I couldn't help but notice. Notice what? Huh? Oh, yeah, man. You're joking! Now, let that be a lesson to you. Never play near quarries. Hey, Paul. Is it too late to give up camping? No, I don't think so. Let's go home and have a nice cup of tea.